Today on our episode, we have Mary, who is a happiness empowerment coach. It is so important in the times that we're in to be happy, no matter what the circumstances. And many a times we need somebody as a guide to remind us how important it is for the simplest things in life, like happiness. Hi, Mary. Hi. Tell me about yourself. Who is Mary Rose? Okay. Um, genetically, I belong to a family, Anglo-Indian family. I'm number six out of seven kids. Okay. Um, I'm the second and the youngest daughter. Right. Have you been in Dubai for a long time now? You could kind of see Dubai as, as, as much more than just a metropolis. Exactly. It's been home. I, I think it's it's home. Yeah. It's a place of endless opportunity. Yeah. And uh, that's where our company even comes into the picture as BCWS because there are so many businesses here in Dubai and yeah. I think this is a land of opportunity Absolutely. Um, and I want that businesses thrive and not just survive. Exactly. So we at BCWS provide that marketing support, uh, a unique marketing uh, yeah. tool to um, talented people like you and business owners. So definitely Dubai is, Dubai is a great place to live, it's yeah. safe and uh, yeah, I, I resonate with everything that you're saying. So Mary, what inspires you to be Mary Rose? Um, I'd say humanity. If I look at, if I look back over my life and I see, mm -hmm. like, my kids inspire me, right. my parents inspired me, mm -hmm. you know, leaders of the world inspire me, except a few, but <laughs> <laughs> let's not go there. Um, Celebrities, I mean, there are some celebrities who really go out of their way to kind of make, um, you know, make people aware of what's happening. Mm -hmm. So all of that inspires me. And in general, I would say um, what inspires me the most is the future. Like, like you said, you know, uh, Dubai is a land of opportunities. And it gave me the opportunity to get into happiness and mindfulness coaching. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, for example, I... I've always been this crazy cracker who makes people laugh. Right? It's just in me. Like I'll right. I'll say something silly or I'll do something mm -hmm. silly, and and you know people just laugh. And I used to think like you know what would it take to do that every day? And I got into happiness coaching, which I found you know browsing on the internet during the the lockdown. And um, so I'm now a certified happiness coach. And people say, what is you know what is it all about? Well, it's just reminding people really that um, you can be happy anywhere. It doesn't cost anything, you know. Like if I asked you now, what makes you happy? What would you say? My family, my kids. I believe happiness is a state of mind. Yeah. Should you choose to be happy. Exactly. So it's a choice that one has <laughs> in whatever situation they're in. Yeah. But you see, so. prior to COVID-19, people would not look at it that way. People would see goals, mm -hmm. um, you know, a certain bank balance right. or um, a title or a certain house or a certain car right. that was qualified as happiness, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think, really, is that car going to make me happy? You know, because in COVID-19, your car was parked in your garage and you couldn't do anything with it, right. you know. Um, probably the only thing you could enjoy was the house and your kids yes. and your family, like you said. You know, you so happiness is all about uh, coaching is actually reminding people what makes them happy um, because okay. everyone just forgot. You know, okay. uh, and I think also for people who battle with maybe depression at this time I think happiness coaching would help them being happy and being grateful uh, I think they even learn that in school because yeah. uh, when we pray together in the night I, I can see how my children talk about being grateful for the little things in life exactly. and I do believe that the school also plays a very you know um, important. important role yeah, yeah. in um, instilling good values exactly I think Absolutely. this generation definitely needs that uh, yeah. because they do tend to give up very easily yeah. uh, you know I have friends that are like 20 and 22 and they're making career choices for themselves and they find it very challenging yeah. uh, so they definitely need 
to have people like you to be able to uh, identify the good and inspire them and give them you know the encouragement exactly. to take decisions so you take workshops right Mary? I do yes uh, the okay. last one I did was a 21 day journey to self discovery okay in that one um, so basically what the intention was was to bring back the happiness of being a child okay right because when we were growing up we had my favorite food my favorite you know nowadays we just eat on the go mm -hmm. half the time we're eating in the car or at our desk you know we have maybe the chance of one meal with our kids mm -hmm. it's either breakfast if we're lucky or dinner mm -hmm. um, so we kind of you know forget what we like because you just eat what's convenient um, or I would ask a question like what's your mantra do you have a mantra did you know you had a mantra you probably didn't realize but you do um, mine is like I said um, mm. you know look for the silver lining or this too shall pass right. you know that that one's a big one for me because you know when you're in stress yes uh, you should, uh, oh you know when is this and I've learned to never ask when is it going to end <laughs> so I just say this too shall pass and it generally you know passes off quite easily um, or what's your theme song do you have a theme song mine is I'm Alive by Celine Dion so I, I absolutely love that song because I think it just you know uh, mm -hmm. brings out kind of life um, so that journey uh, so I had participants again because it's all virtual so I had participants from India, Dubai, and the UK. Okay. Um, and every day I would send out, you know, like a thought for the day, and then they would come back, and we would kind of um, have a half an hour conversation on chat. Right. Um, just discussing, you know, what we were feeling, mm -hmm. you know, what it made us think about. And 90% uh, of the time, it was like a happy memory, you know, because if I said, oh, what's your favorite color? Like, oh my God, I didn't realize I had a favorite color. Right. But the easiest way is to just open your wardrobe and you see what's more, you know, sure. prominent. That's yeah. your favorite color. Right. Uh, mine happens to be mustard. Absolutely. So, you know, if you'd ask me the question, I'd say purple. Yeah. But if you opened my wardrobe, it's <laughs> generally mustard. Correct. So clearly, you know, there's a, you know, it's what I think I, I like and what I actually like. Um, so yeah, and so that journey was a success. People liked it. Now I'm doing another one, probably in another four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but the timing's got to be right because if Christmas kicks off, then right. I'll have to wait till next year. But the next journey is um, about our impact on global warming. Oh wow! Yeah. That so I wanna um, I wanna talk to individuals okay. and, and like so whoever participates will be basically um, made to think about as an individual mm -hmm. how can you impact global yes. warming yes. because generally if you talk about global warming when corporates talk about it it's always about the industry like right. oh the airline industry is responsible or you know the motor industry is responsible or this industry whatever oil you know oil took a big um, kick for that one but actually each one of us um, can impact it you know the obvious um, way we can do it is reduce reuse recycle right. that's you know what we've been made to right. um, think but did you know that the number three cause of global warming or con contributor to global warming is food wastage not surprising yeah but you know okay. if you if you don't make people aware of it I mean th the day I learned about it I actually threw a big bag like this of food out of my fridge because it, had, it was sitting in there for so long, it had gone off. Nobody wanted to eat it. And that's like a huge contribution to global warming because we're buying, putting it in our fridge and then going out and eating a meal you know, mm. in the mall or whatever. And again, there's a lot of wastage there. If you go into the malls and see how much mm -hmm. food gets chucked in the bins, it's more wastage. So that's actually another big contributor. So there'll be more of that in my next um, workshop. Very nice. So how do people sign up for your workshop? Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram or, okay. yeah, uh, I've got a website which right. is almost ready. Okay. Um, so, you know, that one as well, you can kind of hit me up there or WhatsApp. Okay.
Instagram, Facebook. Right. You can find yeah. me everywhere. <laughs> I'm Magical Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is your uh, Instagram yeah. uh, ID, right? It is, yes. So, Mary, what triggered you uh, to go in this direction of happiness coaching? The real trigger was my dad's passing. That was um, close to nine years ago. Okay. So he, <clears throat> basically, he worked on the rigs. So okay. he was um, offshore for three months, mm -hmm. and he would come home for literally two weeks and then fly off again. So we used to see him for two months in the year. Right. And I that, resonate with that. My dad was in the Merchant Navy, so. Yeah. So yeah. he gave 38 years of his life to one company, and he, did, he lived that lifestyle for 28 of those years. So the last mm -hmm. 10 years. He was kind of based in Oman and right. he and my mom, you know, uh, mm -hmm. were together in Oman. So we were able to spend more time with them. But even then, it, we're all working by then. So we're all, you know, it's weekends or long holidays or whatever. And um, when he passed, like, he, he worked his whole life for us, for the kids. But he never got to enjoy the time with us. So for me, it was like, I don't want that. I want my kids to have more of me and I want them to have more of themselves going forward. So rather than just, you know, um, kind of following the trends, I wanted them to be leaders rather than followers. Right. So I thought the best way to do it was, you know, when, if you see somebody who's happy, or you, you know, when you're out mm. in a crowd and you see somebody, you always think like, oh, I wonder what they're up to. Like, you know, mm. what do they have? Like, I want that. Right. Yeah. So I want that to be what my kids have. And I want them to be able to spread the same kind of message to their friends. And then, you know, have that circle out and, and then kind of filter out across the globe, hopefully. Right. Which I think is kind of doable now with right. Zoom. <laughs> right. so, so yeah. It is energy, right? We, we yeah. carry an energy yeah. when we speak, when we laugh. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so and, it, it, it. and it's funny, laughter, I mean, Lily, you've seen her, yes. she's a laughter yoga, right? Yes. Yoga uh, instructor. So, um, it's like, she walks into the room, and it just, you know, the energy changes, and you're kind of like, hey, I'm happy, you know, because yes. she's happy, wealthy Lily. She just walked into the room, and, yes. you know, she brought that bubbling energy with her. That is true. So, yeah, so it's the same thing, and, and like, honestly, like, I used to see my dad, and I think... God, he gave his whole life and he, he never got to enjoy it. Like he just, you know, passed on with not a day when he's, you know, he was able to sit and have fun with his kids. And so, was, so that was kind of the trigger for me. So nice to speak with you and be in conversation with you Thank at you. BCWS. Thank you so much for your time, Mary. Thank you. It has been a delight having you on our show. Thank you. Thank you. The 21 day journey of self-discovery, I found Mary Rose to be an excellent listener. She would always give very good feedback. She would always give us very good tips. And one of the questions was my favorite healthy snack. Um, later on, we were asked about how we feel during COVID-19. I think COVID-19 has taught us all a lot of different lessons and we have learned lots of different things but um, th this was a good way for us to relax to be able to connect to each other different questions were asked so questions included uh, about travel about our favorite hobby our favorite pastimes what we would do to relax and where we would travel to if we had a chance Overall, I thought this was a very, very useful exercise and it taught us patience. It taught us how to uh, connect to each other and also it taught us how we could comfort each other in these increasingly difficult times. So I would like to say thank you so much to Mary Rose and to all the other participants. And I, I really, really enjoyed my time with Hello Beautiful. Thank you for listening. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for following Business Conversations with Shubhika. Stay tuned because every other week we're going to present to you 
are talented business owners in Dubai and people like Mary that spread laughter wherever they go. Don't forget to like, subscribe and spread the word. Thank you for following us.